In this module, Dale's going to show us how to properly operate a Fuller six-speed manual transmission. As soon as you get in the truck, Jim, you want to take and look for the shift diagram for the particular transmission you're driving. This one happens to be a six-speed manual, and there's also a five-speed manual as well with just a slightly different shift pattern. But what we want to do is cover some of the basics. And one of the first things you want to do is always use a clutch for upshifts and downshifts, and that'll prevent premature synchronizer wear. Another thing is to take and select an initial starting gear that has enough reduction for the load in the train that you're operating in. Also, never try to jerk or slam the gear shift lever into gear. Do not coast in neutral and do not shift down at too high of a road speed. Okay, can you uh, go over the initial startup procedure? Sure. What you want to do is make sure that your gear shift lever is in neutral, you've got your parking brake set, then you can go ahead and push your clutch in, start your engine, and then we're ready to go. So let's hit the road and try it. All right. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make an upshift. I'm going to go from first gear to second gear. What we do is we push the clutch in, we select first gear, then we slowly let out the clutch and apply the accelerator. Once we get the vehicle moving, we can go ahead and make an upshift to second gear, push in the clutch, move it to second gear position, let the clutch out, and now we are in second gear. And you continue to upshift in that same manner for the rest of the gears. Okay, well what about downshifting? Is that the same process? Yes. The one thing that you have to keep in mind though is that first, first gear is synchronized. And what you want to avoid is going down into first gear at too high of a speed. What it'll end up doing is it'll damage the synchronizer itself and then it'll cause the engine to overspeed. Now for another example of a downshift, you take we're in sixth gear right now. What I want to do is go into fifth. You push in the clutch, move the shift lever to fifth gear, let the clutch out, and you've downshifted into fifth. And then what you do is continue that same method for the rest of the gears. So in summary, always use the clutch when making upshifts or downshifts. Not using the clutch can cause premature synchronizer failure. Remember to always match your engine RPM with your road speed. And when downshifting back into first gear, make sure the vehicle is at a slow speed when you make the downshift to help prevent engine overspeed conditions.